What's happening guys? So tonight what I'm going to try to do is take this Zotac Amp Max car that I've got in the mail yesterday and try to put an AIO cooler on it. Uh, it is not compatible with the NZXT G12 as I had on my EBGA XC2 Ultra. This car is larger and has the screws are further apart. So what I've done is I'm going to see if I can make this work. It's going to be close. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work, but uh, like you can see, like you can probably get it just right, so this will stay and allow you to, it might be pretty tight, but this is a Corsair H60, which is a bit older. Let's see, I've got the box here. Uh, a little cheaper though, so it was like 60 bucks, which isn't so bad. Um, and this normally wouldn't be compatible with an AIO because the the G12 requires that they have what they call like the Asetec format, which is the round ones. They have like little notches in them, so you can't really see it too well in here, but this is round and it has like little teeth that click in and then connect it to this plate. Uh, and then you're, you mount it to the card afterwards. Um, in this case, you know, this wouldn't fit that, but this has got, like I said, this kind of a bracket. And I think, I mean, you can see it's pretty close. It's a little perhaps large for it, but I think that the screws will fit uh, if I just, you know, like I said, it might be a little bit tight. And if the, the water block, for some reason, doesn't quite reach the GPU itself, I have these old copper shims that I've used in the past for this sort of thing uh, to fill in the space if necessary. So I've got my copper shims, I've got my alcohol to clean the GPU off here, I've got some... Uh, some various types of thermal grease over there. I don't know this camera. I'm using my tablet to record because my phone, for some reason, I can't get files to transfer off the phone anymore, at least not large video files. There's something wrong with it. It's like it throws, I think the USB port might be getting beat up or something. I don't know. I mean, I've had that phone for close to two years, so whatever. But I'm using my, my tablet instead to do the recording. It has the same quality camera, so it should be fine. But like I said, I'm going to get this uh, this sort of torn down here and see if it's possible to mount this on there. If it doesn't work, you know, whatever. And we've got some screws and different mounting hardware that came with it that we can play with that might work. If not, I've got a lot of other stuff laying around here in various, uh, you know, like I've got my toolbox there. I've got cups with screws and stuff up the, upstairs that I can play around with to try to get it to mount and stay tightly against the GPU. As for the fan to keep the, <coughs> excuse me, to keep the, um, the VRMs, cool which normally this mounts right on here uh, on this card you know using the G12 um, I'm gonna take something like a 120 millimeter fan like I've got laying here and I'm gonna try to mount it on the card somehow I gotta see how it's laid out but it does have a front plate on it so I should be able to mount it somewhere and I've got some uh, some double-sided velcro strips here that I'm gonna cut with a pair of scissors into small squares and just use it maybe on the corners of the fan to, you know, cause it to stick to the card. That may or may not work for an extended period of time because of uh, heat. So, I don't know. It's an idea. Uh, if that doesn't work, like I might be able to at least screw it into place in one or two spots, depending on what's, uh, you know, however I can do it. Maybe I can use some zip ties to hold it into place a little bit, too. I've got some of those. So, we're going to play around with it, and we're going to see if we can make this thing work, and then if so... What kind of temperatures we can get with it. It's getting, um, I set the fan at like 65%. Sorry about the train honking out there. Uh, I set the fan to about 65% and the temps never got above like 68 degrees. And that's actually with a bit of an overclock of like plus 85 on the core. So pretty good temps anyway. And not very, not too loud. This thing has pretty big fans on it. Let me flip this thing over so you guys can see a little bit better. Uh, you can see how big... The fans are on this. I mean, they're like a 120 millimeter fan in their own right. If not even a little bit bigger, they might be 140s. So those are large fans so they can get to a higher RPM without getting too loud. That said, I'm going to go ahead and play around with this thing. I'll be back here in a few minutes when I get some of it torn down. We'll see what, what can or can't be done. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. And oh well. Be right back. So we got the fan off there. And as you can see, we've got our GPU exposed. The front plate isn't quite as, uh, you know, quite like I'd hoped it would be, which is, of course, we've been covering the memory. So I'm not really sure if I want to screw with this or not, or if I think this would really be a good idea. Um, I don't know. We'll fiddle. Like I said, the rest of it is covered up reasonably well. 
So what I was thinking of doing was um, I've got these stands that fit nicely into here and I can screw them into place on both sides. I've got enough of these uh, little screw cap thumb screw type things that I can tighten them down on both sides with and basically the way it works with this the same thing as on a CPU and you stand these on the four stands and that cinches the water block down into place and we can see at least if it'll work I just kind of wonder if the memory is going to be overheating in this scenario it sort of seems likely that it would be potentially an issue so we'll, we'll, we'll see how it goes uh, I'll get back in a second be right back all right so I've got all these little stands in here and like I say that's what this should be able to sit on here theoretically and it does. So, like I said, it's a little tight in the corners there, but uh, it should theoretically work. And then you just screw it down with these once I've got the water block sitting on there. Uh, let me show you how I did this real quick. So I've got this thumb screwed into the back using the screws that came with the H60. I have lots of extra water coolers around, so um, of various kinds. I just didn't have another one of this style, so that's why I went to the store and bought another one. But... Um, these are from a different, uh, these are from one of my EVGA CLC 120s, I think is what the model number was. But this fits the same screw type because they're all designed to work more or less on the same CPU sockets. So they're kind of interchangeable. So that said, I'm going to try to get the water block on there and see if we can get it screwed down into place. And uh, see what happens after that. If that is going to be successful, next up we'll be trying to get a fan on here in maybe one or two different locations to keep uh you know heat from building up too badly over here and i may be able to do, like i say sort of secure something into place i've got uh, some of these little foam stands like kickstands that came with the uh i don't know if they come with the nzxc g12 mounts come with those they're designed to act as stands to keep the g12 a little bit off the card so i may be able to use some of those little velcro tabs and like put one on each like in two corners or something just to keep the fan up off the card and then, like I say, adhere it into place, uh, and then maybe use some zip ties somewhere or something to keep things from moving around. It'll probably look a little gangster, but, uh, you know, if it works, that's what matters. So give me one second, and we will try to get this water block on there. Be right back. All right, so I've got some uh, copper heat sinks on here. I had tried setting this up the other day, and I don't even know if this is going to work, but we'll try it. But uh, first of all, like I said, all the, the RAM was exposed. Sorry, the camera on this tablet does not focus properly. I don't know what to do about it. Anyways, um, so yeah, like all the RAM modules were exposed and really wouldn't, you know, they weren't going to be covered up by the water block or anything. So uh, I broke out some of these old PC cooling is the name of the brand, I think. PC cooler, sorry. These I've had for many years sitting in a, in a box and uh, decided to give them a shot. They do have their own adhesive for which I'm using to stick them here. I don't know... You know how reliable that stuff is or not if it's not i do have some more permanent style bonding agent from arctic silver 5 uh, if i have to use that i will but i kind of want to see if i can get away with not doing that first hold on i think my cat was whooping on my chair again one second yeah sorry my cat has been scratching my chair up lately and i've been trying to get him to use his post but that's not really relevant anyways so i've got uh, the copper heat sinks on there I've got this mounting block and this Corsair H60, and we're going to go ahead and see if we can get it to mount successfully to the block. I found some screws at the local store that are better for this job, I think, than the ones that I had. Um, the ones that came with the thing are just a little bit too wide a diameter to fit through these holes, and they don't work with the thumb screws. Uh, if I had some nuts to connect them on the other side, that'd be fine too, but these are the exact same width as these caps that came with the mounting hardware and they should be long enough uh, whereas before the problem I was having um, hold on I've got one of these in my pocket I can sh show you what the problem is so like you take these that are normally used for the mounting uh, of a CPU and you put four of those in there and then you set the block down on top of that well then the block in this case doesn't reach the GPU uh, so I had to go with something that wouldn't 
cause the mounting bracket to rest against this hexagonal centerpiece. What do you need, kitty? Sorry, he's he's a talker lately. So I'm gonna see if this will mate to it. If it does, if it'll if it'll fit the water block over here, then uh, we'll test the temperatures. I have um one of those GPU like it's a separate slot cooling solution that will just mount next to the card in the case, and then it'll blow fans onto this. And I'm gonna see if the combination of a water cooler and a slot cooler like that will result in me being able to water cool and overclock this card. So I'll be right back in a minute. All right, so get everything on there. It looks to me like it's making a connection with the GPU. I mean, it's kind of hard to tell perfectly. I'm also not sure about these heat sinks. I don't know how well they're staying in place. The adhesive on them doesn't seem to be very strong. It's just the stuff, like a peel-off adhesive pad, basically, that's supposed to stick it to something. And, I mean, it feels very sticky, but it's just doesn't feel like it's very secure, so if, as they heat up, they may just fall off, and if that's the case, um, you know, what I'll have to do is, like I said, I've got this, this stuff right here, this is Arctic Silver's part A, part B, it's like a paste you mix, and then it's more like a cement that uh, secures heat sinks to various things. Uh, one nice thing I found, I forgot I had, is this old adapter here that converts the fan header on the GPU to a four pin for the water cooling radiator fan so I can plug that right in which means I can control it with uh, the speed of the fan with GPU software instead of just having to plug it into the motherboard and having it either be controlled through like the BIOS or something like that. Um, I was thinking it'd be kind of interesting if I could plug in the pump from the Corsair into like another one but I don't know that these would give enough power so that's fine I'm not gonna worry about it I'll just plug that into the motherboard to make sure it gets uh, the juice that it needs but it would be cool to be able to control both of those or you know just run them both off the card and not have to use any other additional motherboard fan headers. But everything is pretty much hooked up the way I want it. Now what I'm going to do is put it in the case and I'll put some kind of a, like probably a 120 millimeter fan nearby just to kind of blow across the RAM and the VRMs and everything to try to keep them fairly cool. And tomorrow when that two slot cooler thing I was talking about, like it'll park next to it in the case and run parallel to it and blow on it with there's three fans uh, that do RGB, which super nice. And since this isn't like an RGB or any otherwise flashy looking cooler on this, then it'll be allowing me to still add some pizzazz to the case if I feel like doing it. But uh, anyways, I'm going to go try hooking it up. We'll see if it works. It'll be pretty cool if it does. Uh, be right back. All right, I got it in there. Once again, the lighting in this room is not great, so I don't know how well you guys can see everything in there. But the card is successfully mounted, and then I got the radiator up on top there. Uh, I just want to put, like I say, some kind of a fan in front of it to blow on the heat sink, uh, the, the copper sinks for, on the, the uh, video memory. So I guess I'll try to find a fan to just sort of set in there, see if I can sort of secure something just for today. And then tomorrow I'll have that cooler that shows up that's supposed to sit in front of the card and blow air at it. So we'll see what happens. We'll fire this thing up here in a minute and see what kind of temps we get and if it even works. But be right back. And you can see I just set a fan in front of it to blow air on it until I get the uh, the double slot cooling fan I ordered from Amazon. She'll be here tomorrow. Uh, you can see the temperatures, 28 degrees. It is definitely water cooling the GPU successfully. The problem is, is that there's no way to tell what the temperatures are on anything else. Um, this card doesn't have any kind of onboard sensors for the video memory, the VRMs, or any of that stuff. The EVGA card uses their ICX2 technology and it will tell you temperatures and other things besides the, the GPU. This card doesn't have those things, so consequently, it, uh, you know, the only way for me to find out if this thing is going to work uh, consistently um, or if it's going to be unstable is to like run a benchmark or something and you know give a little push here and see what happens. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try loading up uh, like a 3D Mark benchmark, run it through that real quick, and see if it scores, you know, successfully or if it uh, craps out and you know. Something gets too hot, the system will shut off or something. So, anyways, I'll be back in a minute. I'm just going to pause it. I'm going to run the benchmark, and we'll see if it worked or if it if it's not. But as you can see, the idle temp, and that's what's just with one fan on there. And even at 100%, it's pretty quiet. Um, it's doing a pretty good job of keeping it cool. So we'll see what happens here. Give me one sec. All right, I'm running Time Spy right now. This is the standard one, not the extreme one. But, yeah, we're keeping a frame rate. Uh... Hard to see it, I guess, a little bit with this camera, but 
high 80s, been in the, over 100 at points. I don't know if the temperature is doing or anything because uh, whenever I enable like an OSD, like from EVGA's Precision or, or whatever, and try to run benchmarks like this, it usually causes the benchmark to crash. So uh, we're just going to have to see at the end. Like the, the Precision program will, will retain a record of what the temperatures got up to. It just, uh, like for some reason, the overlay doesn't work with the dam without crashing, things like this. So anyways, it seems to be running successfully so far. So I'll be back in a minute. I ended up changing my mind. Well, it did crash on a time spy, but I have had in the past, I think I did actually have the OSD still enabled in the background, uh, so it did crap out. Um, but time spy for me has always been um, a bit janky. So I switched over and ran Poet Royal, and it ran through that just fine. Didn't have any uh, crashes or anything. You can see that it got what appears to be a reasonable score. I don't know if this supports that's a lie or not, so uh, I don't know, but I've just got the one card in there right now. I'm going to see what our temperatures were like. One sec. All right, it's kind of hard to hold this tablet while recording and playing with the mouse at the same time, so I apologize, but you can see the temperature maybe got to 44-ish. GPU clock broke 2000 to 2010. Didn't have a problem at all with the, the frame rate. So that did a really good job running through that. I'm going to load up uh, like Witcher 3 or something and see if it still runs like we'd want it to. So give me one sec. All right, so it's running. There's freaking glare off light from the wall there. So there you go, frame rate's around 70. And that's in 4K with everything on max, except for like the hair anti-aliasing that's turned down, but it's still on, it's just on minimum. So that's uh, running pretty well. Let's see what the temp's getting up to here in a second. Again, the on-screen display doesn't even work in this game. EVGA's uh, Precision OSD doesn't work for the most part so that, uh, I'll be right back all right temp cap temps kept out at like 45 again GPU utilization looks to have been pretty good uh, let's see yeah clocks were in the high 1900s anyway so this seems to be working pretty well like I say it's uh kind of ghetto right now until I get this cooler thing let me uh show you what I ordered here real quick I got a it's coming from Amazon tomorrow. This is the product they ordered. It's called uh, Anities Graphic Card Cooler. They're 80 millimeter fans, so they're not real big, but you see it takes up two slots, and it just, uh, I wonder if it's powered from the PCI Express LED. It almost looks like it has, like you see, like a little socket down here. That might just be something so it can be mounted in the case and remain stable, but whatever. I'm going to put that in front of the card and have it blow air on it, and that should, uh, take over for this fan I've got in there for the moment but I call this a successful test so far I'll let you guys know if um you know if eventually like it starts freaking out or overheating or whatever but uh it seems like everything is must be in uh you know within tolerance of the temperatures or it'd be having a problem so it seems like it's working GPU is staying at like 45 degrees uh so a card that was not I mean the only water cooling solution that I could find for it was like a third party seller um, on Amazon that makes blocks. I think they're called Barrow and they make like custom loop water block equipment and they make a custom block for this card. But uh, like the NZXT G12 is not compatible with it. So this is a, you know, a good option. But uh, thanks for watching guys. Uh, if you have any questions, ask them in the comment section below. Uh, otherwise I'll make another video here in the near future. Thanks again. Talk to you later. Bye. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.